guys excited? We are starting the housing tour for the competition. We are gonna go visit Lenore's house first. So get ready, get excited. It's gonna be fun. Bartending is a default. That is very true. Get excited. I gotta like load in and then look down to the ground really quickly though. Be like. Pfft. Okay, we're gonna stare into a tree for now. You've been in a putty booth. I appreciate it though, it's funny. So don't forget, we need you guys to pay attention to the houses as well, because you guys are gonna vote on fan favorite. So this is Lenore's house. Again, remember the theme is Wonderland. Yeah, Wonder yeah, Wonderland. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about these things. I need to get more of these. Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm stuck. Oh, oh my bad. Oh God, I can't get up. I, I'm stuck on the thing. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this is actually a really good idea to get up on top. Oh, nice. This is so pretty. This is Lenore's house. So the ample domicile. Cause you know spelling. <gasps> oh, oh, the rock actually goes in so good with the wall. Turn the lights off in your way out. Make it all miss. Oh God. Hello. Mm. Well done. It's close to the right location. So keep in mind, Lenore's house, okay? You guys have to remember how these houses look. So now we are in Rubitite's house. This is the Velothi, sorry, my God, my brain. Velothi Reverie House. Oh, I like the eeriness to it. Ooh. Mm hmm. Oh, I like this. This is so good. The face inside the mirror. That's so good. I like that. Oh, God, I'm standing in your mushroom pond. I'm sorry. The cheese, yes. <laughs> so good. Ooh. Oh, what crystals are that in the wall? Oh, 
Okay, that's a courtyard. Mm-hmm. The boredom roll? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, see, I need to hurry up and get my hands on that skull. Like, I feel like I know what crystal that is, but I've never seen that color, unless the brazier is giving it the, the eerie. Oh no, it's still a different color. The lanterns? Oh, yes. The dark elf ones, ooh. Yeah? Okay, that's what I thought, because I was like, I swear I know I, I, I've seen these crystals before. Ooh. To the courtyard? Oh, I like this! Oh, this is actually cool! How it shines off to the side. I think it's so cute, it's so clever. The knockdown chair, like. Uh, yep, yeah, all the trees are all furnishing items also. And I believe most of these trees, I believe you can get from the general um, housing vendors. So they're like, they're not all crown related items. Most of these things can get, are like in game items. Like this is a um, antiquity item. Which is really cool. I was like, what if the two locked in the realm forever? Game's like, nope, nope, sorry, you cannot enter this door. Entering the basement. Oh, I like this. The fish! Oh my god, that's like that's actually really smart. I love it. <laughs> right? Because from far, it can give you the illusion of, like, the, the watery. Because of the way that the coral moves. That's, that's awesome. I love it. The bubbles, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, I like this. The music box. Oh, I didn't notice that it rotates, ooh. Right, isn't it so good? It's like a little underground, like a little basement aquarium, underwater sea thing. So good. We have one more spot, the upstairs. Oh, I keep getting stuck. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's two, ooh. Yes, yes, perfect. I love it. <gasps> the bunny! <laughs> Look at the bunny. <laughs> it's like he's frozen, like when time stopped. I love it. <laughs> Mid jump, that's so good. Right, isn't it so good? Oh, the fan! Now I'm a monkey. Harl, oh, thank you very much for the 11 months. Can we get those hypes in chat? We're monkeys! <laughs> so good. Oh, bravo, bravo. Well done, I love it. So that is it. Time does fly. So that's what you have to ask them. How long it took them to deco their house. Roughly how much in-game gold it cost. So this is it for our 
our EU entry, so now we have to switch back over to NA and go visit the other ones. So, again, remember the two houses. This was Lenore's and Rubitite's house. Okay. So this is the Grand Sigic Villa. This is Ike's house. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm really hoping that this is the house that he wanted to submit. It looks mystically, so... I'm hoping this is right. <gasps> I like this, though. It is cute. Oh my god, that face! I need this. Oh, with the, world, with the waterfall into the beard. Right? I like how the waterfall's blended in with it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh god, she can't jump. <gasps> right? Oh my, oh my god. Oh. Way to win my heart. <laughs> Catley, hello! Creepy item section! Right? Like, oh my god. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's actually really cool. Adding the blood orb into um, the geode thing. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. You've become more nervous? You'll become even more nervous. You're next in alphabet. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. So this house is so big. Okay, so that's the other section we got to view over there. Really? That's hilarious. Yeah, I, I think he did just um, specific sections because of how big um, the villa is. The villa is so pretty when it comes to like all the waterfalls and stuff. So over here. Oh, if you love housing, you're gonna love this. The amount of things that you can do is so good. They build a Godzilla out of her. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. Oh, I like that. The Elsewhere Temple's into it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. How do I? Oh. Should probably pay attention where I'm walking. In Cold Harbor? Nice. This is the Grand Sigic Villa. Uh, coming? Which one? That is, um, one of the elsewhere- Oh god, I'm stuck. One of the elsewhere temples. You can get it with crowns? I- I don't know if it's craftable, but it might be. I know this one is craftable. That one right here, I failed at jumping. This one is craftable. Not too sure on this one. Oh, also if you look, if you, oops, sorry. If you look here, this I believe is the elsewhere platform and he's got the plat, he's got the temple stuck onto the platform. So the platform here is craftable. I don't know about this one at the top here. Yeah, but that's freaking awesome. How they he put it into the rocks? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the Somerset one. This is one of the houses that's, it's really, it is one piece? Is it really that big? Oh, wow. Okay, Miss Fox said this is actually the one piece for it. That's freaking actually more cool. They do get better every year, yeah. 
Yes, do you know if it's craftable? Oh wait, Ooh, gotta rotate. Oh, I love the door entryway. Oh my god, that's so nice. Oh, it's so pretty. You're not too sure? Because we can, we can look at it after and go see if we can find it. After we're done all this. But yeah, you should see the amount of things that you can build and craft in this game, Callie. You would, you'd love it. I want this house too. Oh, I love the glow in the back. It's actually smart. Block it off so you can't go past the point because there's nothing there. Oh my god, this is so good. Yes. Oh, I'm stuck again. I keep getting stuck on rocks. But yeah, so this is the house that I was kind of talking about. Where y you can only have 700 items. So you basically have to prioritize. Do you want the outside decode or the inside decode? Because it's very hard to make both look perfect. Like really hard to make this look amazing. Like in both sections. Kind of speed levels so I can start with. Here's the thing, you actually can start with housing at any level you want. Oh, I should probably go over here, right? Sorry. Any level you want. Welcome back. The only thing you just have to keep in mind is how much gold you're, it's gonna cost you. But yeah, levels does not matter when it comes to housing. Money is what matters. <laughs> right? This is getting hard. Um, the blue tent over there is a solitude tent. That much I know. Actually, I think they're both solitude tents. They are both craftable, yes. Faded, I believe, has um, the design for that, to craft those. Oh, yeah, 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 you can go over this way, right over here. I believe you can cross it from over there. I think. Or maybe he does, oh no, he doesn't have a platform to go up there. So no, you can only, you can only look at it. You have both the solid two tents? Okay. Yeah, so it's just a view from far. Which is still pretty cool. Open and close? Okay. Perfect. So now I'm wondering. Outside is freaking amazing. Right? Look at the door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, this is Ike's house. So I feel like he may have blocked this off because of limited spacing, because he focused the outside. Oh, oh my god, never mind. I, I take back my sentence. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh wow, I don't even know what room I want to go visit right now. Jeez. Oh, I love it! Right into the rabbit hole, like, oh my god. Yes, this is a 700 slot house. But you, you be, um, you fill up 700 really, really fast. Really fast. So I guaranteed he's probably sitting at exactly 700 items now because the outside is insane. And then look at the inside, like, 
Right? Like, isn't this freaking cool? Hey, I think he's got probably, like, all of them. Every single vet done. Mm-hmm. So this is the Hargraven ca Cauldron. This you can get during the Halloween event. Which is really cool. Oh, God, we gotta go out. Oh, God, there's stuff upstairs, too. Oh! <gasps> So you got some antiquity items. Oh, I like it. Is this for a guild? This is our housing competition that we're doing. So the theme was Wonderland. So like, what is your personal view of Wonderland? Which is pretty freaking cool. Oh yeah. Woo. This house now, yes, you'd have to purchase it. It's no longer available for free. I missed out on this house by like a, a month and a half. Uh, during the Somerset event a couple years ago, if you partook in the event, you got the house for free. Yeah. A couple years ago. When Somerset first released, I believe. Something like that. But yeah. If you did the Somerset event a, a couple years ago, you got this house for free. Now you have to purchase it whenever they sell it kind of thing. And yeah. I missed it by like a month and a half. No, it wasn't included like that. You actually had to run the, the Somerset event for it. <laughs> oh, I like this up here. It's really pretty, too. Okay, so he blocked off the back room, which is still cool. Woo! More busts. The gate. <gasps> oh, this is the, um, the emperor thing, right? The, the, the hammer from uh, Cyro PvP? The Volendron? Yeah. Oh, now it looks so much cooler. Oh, now I really want this. Which we know I'm never gonna get this. Oh, that is fucking badass. I didn't realize it animated like that. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, this is so badass. I also want free stuff, right? Who doesn't want free free things? Yeah, this is amazing. Yes, as of right now, seven hundred is the largest amount of house item housing items. Me, no, never. That's why I was like, yeah, this ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I've never been uh, emp. Yeah, um, Miss, don't forget to go check up these stairs if you didn't go yet. There's a little uh, library up here, which is really cool too. So yeah, so this is the Grand Sidgic Villa. This is Ike's house. You, oh, you did? Okay, perfect. Good to go to the next one? Okay. So now we are in, we are in Kith's house. This is the Boulder Tree Refuge house. Uh, yeah, Duncan, you do. Ooh, I'm excited. And it is nighttime, so this is even more perfect, so we get the full effect of the house. Ooh. Oh, it's so pretty. When is the, for fan favorite? The link is available up until the end of stream, basically. Oh, I like that. Hi, Sully. Oh, I like it. It's so pretty. Mm 
<laughs> this is Kitsana's house. Oh, I love it. This is so pretty. this this is so pretty exactly like very simple very cute and still very mystically <gasps> an underwater theme that actually sounds really really cool mm-hmm yeah because it gets that perfect little divider I love this. This is so pretty. So cute. And we can sit at the table. The snow globe house. Mm-hmm. I never thought of that type of effect to make it- Oh god, I'm stuck! Oh no! Can't save me! Save me! I'm stuck in your chair. <laughs> I am now an NPC pathing in your house. <laughs> We're stuck here forever, guys. I can't get out. What if I sit back down? No, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> right? I fell for your trap. Don't sit at the chair. You'll be stuck there. Uh, that's too good. It's a perfect trap. F5 and you can get unstuck if you're stuck. That's too funny. I love it. So yeah, so don't forget this is Kitsana's house. Okay, so now we are in Half Dead's house. This is the... Al Velothi Harbor House. Isn't that pretty? So as if if any of you guys remember this house, this into all these rocks, he built an entire cave here. The original house has nothing like that. So this whole place has been completely transformed into a cave. Which is like freaking super cool. The ghost. <laughs> mm hmm. This is the Ald Velothi Harbor House, the one in Vordenvel. Isn't that pretty? Mm hmm. I want to say. I don't think he's decoded the inside. Or maybe just a little bit now. Okay. The main focus for him, though, is the outside of the house. So he's probably gonna. He's probably gonna yell at me for going inside. <laughs> Because uh, the outside is the main focus for the house, not the inside of the place. So when you're judging, this is what you're going to focus on, is this part for viewables. Not the inside. This is his wonderland. And it's beautiful. I love it. I'm trying to remember the name of these boulder rocks, though, too. I 
it's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, yeah, okay, so there you go. This is the Boulder Vol Volcanic Plug, if you guys ever want to actually get your hands on that rock. So that way you guys can build your own cave. That's the name of the rock. The Volcanic Plug Boulder. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is Exercise Coven Cottage. And this is Pixie Sticks' house. Um, I'm gonna get back to you on that one really quickly. Because I want to ask you guys um, something about that in a little bit. Maybe right after this house. Okay, so let's view this house first, and then I'll post that in Discord about that in a second. The flower bit you? Oh my god! Forever more, thank you for to the eight months. I will fix that for you in a second, as soon as we are done this house. Yeah, those are the, the PvP flowers, eh? How are you doing today? Oh, oh yeah, it got me too. Oh, I like it. Oh, this is so pretty. No rush, obviously. <laughs> I will do it. I will not forget. So it, it's like mine, but so much brighter. Mine, mine, I think I'm going to show mine after we're done everything, just because, you know, it's still fantasy-like. I like this one. It's so much more brighter and cheerful, while mine is, like, dark and depressing. From Bleach? Ooh, thank you. Hell yes, Pear, are you going to do the new dungeons today? Oh, this is so pretty. I fucking love this. So pretty. Well done. The kitty, look at the kitty stretching. It's like, there's my little pillow. Of course, hell yes. Every crab, do you think every crab will said? Hell yes. That is amazing. Oh, I love this. Oh, oh god, it's still at me. So yeah, so this is Pixie Sticks' house. We're viewing Sully's house. This is Autumn's Gate. <laughs> doo, doo, doo. Very quaint and cozy. Very, very cute. Oh, I love it, especially because it's still nighttime. Yeah. So you're so you're not stuck into using like keyboard and mouse if you don't want to. You can still use controller here too. Good morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing our house in competition. Exactly, I love it. That's the one thing I like about these trees is when you close the sky like that. So pretty. So for all the previous houses that you guys missed, we are recording it, so it will all be up on YouTube later. So you guys will be able to review all the houses afterwards too. Oh, I love it. So cute. Super, super cute. Oh, I love that painting. Right? Oh, this is so pretty. Now I kind of want to really deco this house. Love it. So pretty. It's a, it's a very um, cute house, and it's not too expensive in terms of um, gold to purchase it. Mm-hmm. I, lo I love it. 
I love it. Well done, Sully. Well done. So now we are in Ninny's house. This is the Gornir estate. And I love how it's still nighttime, so it works out perfectly for the outside houses. But mine's more Bregian Basin than Wonderland. <laughs> but you can also, you, you have time now if you want to enter into the next competition we're doing. The next housing one is a Halloween theme. Which we'll get to the details finalized and posted in Discord. I'm gonna say soon enough. Obviously I don't have a date on that. But at least you have an idea that it's a Halloween theme for the next one. So for anybody that actually wants to enter into the next competitions. I love the outer houses for these things. They're so nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to make it spooky. It has to be- oh, I'm stuck. It has to be spooky. Yay! <gasps> oh, I like this. This is nice. <gasps> what is this? Oh, is that the pe- no? Oh, I like that one. At first I guess it was spooky from this side. There, see, there you go. You're ready for the next one. But thinking about it now, I don't know what flower that is. I'm gonna have to actually ask her later about this. I want to say it's a Merkmire one. But I'm not sure. You gotta pay attention! We've been saying it in Discord, we've been saying it here, but this was a sudden one. Um, everybody here only had like two weeks to, to ready up for this. It is from Merkmire? Perfect. See, I had it right. So this was a, like a very short notice competition. The next one you're gonna have pretty much up until like Halloween to ready for it. So there's way more time to prepare for the next one. <laughs> oh see this is where i want it. i want you guys to close your eyes i'm gonna walk out with the sweet roll see if she notices <laughs> damn this makes me want one even more now that i see the like the cute little glow on it feels bad so cute. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. <laughs> What I like about this too is that it gives you guys so many amazing ideas on, on how to deco houses and stuff. So pretty. Uh, yeah, in one... I just want to make sure that I, I checked over here too. Okay. I wasn't sure if I came over here. Beautiful. So yeah, so remember this is Ninny's house, and this is the Goronir estate. So this is the Hall of Lunar champion. This is Zeldir's house. So he submitted the Hall of Colossus for his entry. Ooh, it's so cute. Love it. Right? Everybody is so good. This is gonna be really hard. Oh, I like this. Also, what statue is this? Because I need this statue thing. This is freaking cool. Oh, it's so pretty. That's the antiquity? Wait. 
How many antiquity statues are there? Because I thought I had all of them. It's from antiquities, really? Okay, you're gonna have to tell me which one it is then. Because I thought I had all the antiquity statues. Oh. <gasps> look, 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 look! It's like an aquarium! There, Lenore! Or anybody else that wants to build an aquarium, look at the, the idea for it. The paintings in the back to give the, uh, the appeal of water, and then add the corals and stuff inside it. Isn't that cool? That is freaking such a good idea. And then obviously you can climb on top of here. This is so cool. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, on my way, on my way. <gasps> oh. Oh, snap. There, there, look at an even bigger aquarium. <gasps> right? This is so hard. Oh my god. With our, um, our rock th idea? Oh my god, it keeps- Oh, I'm gonna go to you in a second. This, this aquarium is so cool. And you can go all the way to the top where there's like a bed and everything. And it feels like you're actually in an aquarium. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, it's so nice. And then you can go all the way down. To, oh my god, this is so pretty. Right? Like a perfect little mermaid house. Oh my god, this is so nice. I had just to close off the stairs, right? Oh my god, this is well done. Mm hmm And this is just the one room. This is the entry to the competition. I can't wait to see how um, he finishes off the rest of the house. Oh, I love this. This is so nice. Super, super done. Well done. So, yeah, so this is Zeldir's house. Okay, so. That is it for the submissions. Um, I'm gonna go to two other houses really quickly. These are not to be judged for the competition. I'm just gonna add them into the thing because the whole Wonderland mystical theme kind of thing. Because it's something that we've worked on, bef like, also. So, separating that from the competition houses, these are just other entries, like, not entries, but, like, just to show you guys how pretty they are. So, this can give you guys, an, a, like, an idea of what you can do for Halloween. So, as you can see, it's very dark and more spooky-like. <laughs> so a lot of these, a lot of my items are in-game slash crown store items though, but there's still plenty of things that you can buy in-game that you can make your house perfectly spooky. Like easily, you can make it creepy. So this just shows you what you can look forward to for the next competition. Um, within the guild slash community, yes. So if this is something that you want to partake in, I do recommend obviously joining the guild. Because this is kind of stuff that you can, you know, join us with. 
obviously joining the Discord and everything, too. He sends his ideas and stuff for in the game. Um, what you could do with that, there's no site for that. But you can send me the stuff and then I can uh, submit it. With only in-game stuff only? Could do that as well also. So this is the, the one house. So to give you guys an idea of what you guys can do for Halloween. And then the last one of the whole Wonderland competition house. Yeah. So this house, Miss Decode for me. This is pretty much all her brain on Wonderland. So this is the Gornier estate also. So, like, see all the, like, the cool ideas that you can come up with and the things that you can do with things in the game. Like, it's so pretty. So, this house is, like, it's pretty much finished. We still have room to put in a little bit more. Oh, no, it looks amazing at night. We still have room to put in another, I think it's another, like, 50 decos if we really want to. So there's the dark, eerie side to it. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's so pretty at night. Ugh. So this is the upside down room, like the tips, topsy turvy room. Feels like it's one of the easiest rooms to deco. Hello. Just throw everything upside down, make it float. It's great. <laughs> Love it. So this one, we went with, like, the full-on, like, Alice in Wonderland style for it. So, yeah, so this is the house that basically got us going with the whole Wonderland theme for the competition. So, again, like I said, like, um, so keep in mind, whenever you're going back through the video and looking at everybody's houses, my two houses are not entries. These are just showing you the extra de designs and stuff that were put into the work for it because it mat it goes with the whole theme and everything. So I'll try to get everything edited and finished up tonight for it so that way we can have it up on YouTube tonight so that way you guys can go back through the video, look at the houses that you guys really like and then vote on it on which one that you think is the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed the housing tours. I'm definitely looking forward to the next competition as well. So it's, if it's something that you guys want to get in on, remember we said the the theme, the next one is Halloween. So you have plenty of time to start getting prepped and getting deco, deco stuff ready for it. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs>